Welcome back to Make Play Treasure. Today we're reading the Berenstain Bears Wyatt. Up, up, and away. Stan and Jan Berenstain. Sister, brother, and cousin Fred were visiting one of their favorite places, the Hall of Flight in the Bearsonian Institution. Many of the most important aircraft in the history of flight were on display, as well as portraits of flight's early heroes. Fred, said brother, wouldn't it be great if we were Will Bear and Orville Wright and invented the airplane? It sure would, said Fred. If you two are going to be Will Bear and Orville Wright, who am I going to be, asked sister. You can be Amelia Bearheart, said brother. Okay, agreed sister. But it wouldn't do us any good if we were, added brother, because all the ideas for inventions have been used up. But that's not true, said Professor Actual Factual. The Bearsonian was his museum, and he had just come into the Hall of Flight. Ideas for inventions will never get used up. That's not how inventing works. Hi, Professor, said Brother. How does inventing work? In different ways, explained the Professor. Sometimes by combining things that have already been invented. Will Bear and Orville put the glider and the gasoline engine together and gave us the airplane. Sometimes an invention comes in a flash, continued Actual Factual, almost like a light bulb going on. That's how the paperclip was invented. It was just a bit of wire bent in a new and different way. And speaking of the light bulb, it was not invented in a flash. Thomas Grizzly Edison knew that an electrical current would make a wire glow, but he had to try hundreds of kinds of different of wire before he found one that worked. Do you think you, we could invent something, Professor? asked Sister. I do indeed, said Actual Factual. Just think about the airplane, the paperclip, and the light bulb, and remember this rhyme. All inventions you will find happen first in someone's mind. As Sister, Brother, and Fred left the museum, they were thinking about the airplane, the paperclip, and the light bulb. In front of the museum was a park where all sorts of things were going on, but two of the things jumped out at them. Turned on the big light bulb over their heads. Balloon plus airplane equals a balloon plane, or balloon engine. The would-be inventors hurried home and went to work. First, they found a packet of balloons that was left over from Sister's birthday party. Then they took a sheet of paper and folded it to make a paper plane. They blew up the balloon and fastened it to the paper plane with a loop of sticky tape. Then they launched the first breath-powered aircraft from the front stoop. A thing of beauty may be a joy forever, but to an inventor. An invention that works the first time is a thrill that comes once in a lifetime. Just as Wilbur and Orville Wright improved on their invention by trying different designs, brother and sister and Fred improved their invention by trying different combinations of balloons and paper planes. They made a speed stir by combining a small tough balloon with a racing style paper plane. They made a giant two motor airliner by mounting two large balloons on a paper plane made of newspaper. Every time they tried something different, they learned something new. They learned that sausage-powered planes flew straight and true, that a spiral-powered plane wiggled and shivered, and that a two-motor banana looped the loop. They learned that some breath-powered aircraft have minds of their own. One turned on brother and chased him around the treehouse. Another landed in a nest and was attacked by a mama robin. Just as others built on their successes of Wilbur and Orville, Right, and others built on Sister, Brother, and Fred's successes. Sister's friend Lizzie Bruin made an ascension balloon that came down by parachute. Lizzie's brother Barry made a terrific model of the good bear blimp using one big balloon and two small ones. The two tall gang made a pirate space station that flew the Jolly Roger. Professor Actual Factual's nephew, super smart Freddy Factual, made a three-stage rocket that actually worked. It had been an exciting day for inventors, sister, brother, and Fred, and they had learned a lot. But the most important thing they learned was the message in Professor Actual Factual's little poem. All inventions you will find happen first in someone's mind. 
happy and hope you like this book and remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with our reading events and activities. Catch you next time on Make Play Treasure.